Welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to compare Meguiar's Hot Rims Wheel and Tire Cleaner versus Meguiar's um, Ultimate All Wheel Cleaner. So I know this one's a tire cleaner, but I'm going to use them both on the wheels to show you the results we get. So on this wheel, I'm going to use the Ultimate All-in-One Wheel Cleaner. This one has a iron inhibitor in it, so it will turn purple when it breaks down the iron on the wheel also on the rotor too but that's not as important so I'm gonna let that work itself in right there so on this wheel I use the Meguiar's ultimate wheel cleaner and I'm gonna let it break in there I mean you can see like that how easy that dirt's gonna come. This is just one of my detailing brushes. I'm gonna put a little product on it. But I just, I wanna just do the face of Louise wheels, so I'm not gonna get on the inside or anything. But it's amazing how easy this product is to work in. The one thing I wouldn't let it do is I wouldn't let it, uh, don't, definitely don't let it dry on the, the wheel. So be ready to rinse it right away. This stuff, wow. The one thing though, it does smell pretty bad because I mean, it's breaking down iron. So it's a kind of a given with these type of wheel cleaners, like a Meguiar's Wheel Bright. But the advantages are so good, so. So now that I let it, uh, you know, work for about five minutes, this is about the work time you get with the product. I'm gonna rinse it off. That is pretty amazing. I'm gonna just dry it off a little bit. I mean, that is impeccable how clean that gets. When I uh, wash the car in a minute, I'm gonna make sure I get the rest of everything out. But that looks pretty darn good. So that's the results you can get with the uh, Ultimate McGuire's Wheel Cleaner. So now let's go try the hot rod side, hot rod rims and wheel cleaner, tire cleaner on the other side. And one thing to mention, this is also on the front of this Mini Cooper. So these are the front wheels that we're working on here. So now I'm gonna spray on the Meguiar's hot rims and wheel and tire cleaner. So this one you can't get on the tire. The other one you don't wanna get on the tire. It's not gonna harm it, it's just, you're wasting a pretty expensive product. The difference is about five dollars because you can get this for like four ninety nine. That other uh, the Meguiar's Ultimate Wheel and Tire Cleaner is like nine dollars. Well, basically ten bucks. So, I probably use a little too much product there, but I want to give it a fighting chance. I'm also gonna. So now that I've sprayed it on there, I'm going to work it in just like it's on the other side. Again, both products are very easy to use, both foam a lot. This one, it's not nearly as easy to get the dirt. Well, yeah it is, but the other Meguiar's, the Ultimate, it is so easy to get the dirt off when you're brushing it. So. And this one doesn't need to work as long as the other one does because there's no iron inhibitor in it, so it's not breaking down any iron like the other Meguiar's is. So now I'm gonna rinse it off.
Uh, there's still some dirt down here, but that's from me not cleaning it properly. So one thing, so with these two cleaners, they both obviously to clean the wheel. I would recommend using, um, you don't, I wouldn't use a detail brush like this. I'd use an actual wheel brush, but like a, especially if you wanna do the face or if you wanna do the inside of the uh, barrels right here. But basically that one is better at like it's a deeper clean because you're going to remove all the iron out of it. This one is more of a super uh, official clean. So I'd use it more as a maintenance type of cleaner. And also you can use it to clean off the tire so you can break down the grease and grime off that too. So overall, I say they both win. Uh, there's really no advantage. Um, one's not better than the other because they're for two different purposes. The ultimate is to get that deeper clean to get all the iron out. If you have really, really pitted wheels, I'd go with that. And for both of them, I don't recommend just using it as a spray on and then rinse off because you'll just be wasting your product. Work it in a little bit with a brush. It takes an extra second or two. But overall, I don't, I'd get both. But me personally, I do like that iron inhibitor and the other Meguiar's one, so I'd go with that one. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please do. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.